So in today's Mall for 2 video, guys, we're going to be using the F-Tech Recon here in today's video. Now, it's been a while since I've uploaded this weapon, and I actually wanted to get a video out when they buffed this weapon at the beginning of the Season 2 Reloaded update, which they made this weapon really nice. They just made the single shot fire rate really fast, and they also increased the damage at range, making it a very solid battle rifle to use. Now, I got a crazy gameplay here in the new Extended Shipment playlist, which was really fun to play. So if you guys are new here and enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with no he's on so you don't miss any more videos but anyways guys let's get into it now getting into our first attachment for our FTAC recon class setup I decided to go with a barrel which is going to be the bull rider 16.5 inch barrel now this can help with bull velocity recoil control damage range and hip fire accuracy I really don't use barrels a lot when using the FTAC recon but this is a really solid attachment helps my bullets be stronger at a longer distance weapons easier to control when spam firing the weapon bullets are traveling faster to hit our targets faster and also that hip fire accuracy I really don't recommend recommend you hip firing with a single shot weapon if you really want to but if you need to that accuracy is up so this is a very helpful attachment for number one now for attach number two this is a new optic i've been running which is the df 105 reflex sight now this is just going to help with a different red dot sight and actually tuning this attachment makes it way better to use this is a new attachment but if you don't like it run whatever you like when it comes to optics run what you like what you feel more comfortable with honestly any optic in this game they're kind of nice but you can go with this one the slimline pro the Chrono Mini Pro, I mean, honestly, whatever you want to run. And in today's video, I decided to run the Reflex site, so just run basically what you want to run. Now, for the stock, I went with the Torrent Span 9. Now, this can help with aim walking movement speed, sprint speed, and recoil control. I do like this attachment a lot. It gives us a lot more mobility, running faster around the map. We're moving faster when aimed down sights and strifing faster. And also, we get a tiny bit of recoil control, which is really good for this weapon. I think everything besides the recoil control on this weapon is really good. So, we're going to build that up. And also, with this attachment, we're running faster. And I just think overall, this is a really good attachment for the FTAC Recon. Now, going down to our next attachment, we're going to do the rear grip, and we have the X10 grip going on. Now, this can help with aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Now, this is going to give us a lot more handling. We're being more aggressive, and which in a shipment gameplay, you want to be as aggressive as you can. All your gunfights are up close, so you want to have that fast handling, shoot faster off a sprint, aim down sights faster, just overall being more aggressive, having that aggressive play style. So, 100%, I think this attachment here is very needed for the FTAC Recon. And then for our final attachment, I am going with the 15 round mag. I think this is a must as well. A larger magazine size is a must need if you're an aggressive player running gun in. Because if you don't, I mean, you have 10 bullets, which is okay, I guess, for that faster mobility. But honestly, I would rather take the hit and have more ammunition in my my weapon so i don't have to reload every time i get a kill if you don't want to run this you can replace this with an ammunition type an under barrel or even a muzzle if you really want to or a laser sight it's just honestly what you prefer but 100 percent for me the magazine must stay on now getting into my tunes for my FTAC Recon class, I want to go to the barrel here first and add on my damage range at point .20 and then the recoil steadiness is going to be at point .40. So when firing our weapon, it's more steady and it's actually very helpful since they did buff the single shot fire rate. It's more faster now so it's going to keep our weapon more steady and not have as much kick. And also that damage range, our bullets are doing a little bit more damage and also traveling a little bit further so make sure you have these down. Now for the optic, this is my new optic I've been running. Go ahead and max out your eye position at far. It's going to give us less visual recoil and then your aim down sight speed. We're just going to be more snappy. We're aiming down sights faster, so it is going to help us in those gunfights. Now for the stock, we're going to max out our aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed here once again. Our aim down sight speed is going to be lightning quick now. You're going to be helpful, really helpful when getting into those gunfights and also the aim walking movement speed. We are moving faster and strafing faster in aim down sights. And then for our final attachment here, guys, we're going to go ahead and max out our sprint to fire speed and put our aim down sight speed at 0.60. So our aim down sight speed is just, I mean, super fast now. And also our sprint to fire speed is pretty quick. So it is going to help us with that sprint to fire speed and being more aggressive but this is my class up it was really nice we got a little bit more damage here range and recoil control and i think that's all you really need for the f-tech recon since it already has really good mobility and handling but you gotta try this class up out and watch this crazy gameplay i got with it and i got it live on kick so make sure you go in the description or the pinned comment make sure you go follow me i'm clicking close to 100 followers so if you guys could help me make sure to do that but anyways guys i hope you enjoy hit that record button all right let's get it
I don't have fast hands, bro. Not yet, no. I need fast hands bad. I need fast hands really bad. Oh, that's a teammate. What am I doing? All right, let's keep this up. I was on the other side of the wall. All right. Oh, that's embarrassing. I can't hit my shots right now. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all didn't see that. Oh, I couldn't get him. Where is everybody at? Dude, I can't find anybody. Let's keep this up. Alright, get those headshots. Let's keep this up. I, I think it is as well. Someone just came into my Twitch chat and at said that as well. They, they they're only getting shipment. Let's go ahead and call this helicopter in. My gun's better, bro. I promise. I'm shooting a teammate. How dare I? No, teammate. Bro, bro. Come. All right. Three minutes. I, I don't even want... Okay, we got 63 kills. That's not even... That's bad. Yeah, I hope it is as well. I hope... Teammate, get him. Oh, what about? I, I, I just killed myself. They're gonna be over here on P two. Dude, I, I, I can't deal with these shotguns, really. I got people timing out, bro. This is not cool. I'm embarrassed someone with my aim right now. Reload. Because we're at 91. 
I'm trying to get my teammates to play as much objective as they possibly can, but... Teammate, just turn around. Turn around. Trust me, buddy. And I kill myself. I mean, honestly, I'm fine with that. I don't even care. I don't even care. Expedite 12. Awful. They're getting snaked over here. We gotta keep finding people though. Alright, I can call my helicopter in too. Dude, what was that shotgun kill, bro? That shotgun is so annoying. Yo, uh, Leo, thanks for the follow, big dog. How many kills are at? 165. Yeah, like, here, if I have, like, um, if I have, like, people that want to play objective, I mean, this game probably would do really good. But, I don't know. But 171 kills with the FTAC recon. I mean, that's not too bad, though. But extended time, I definitely should be getting more kills. But hey, it is what it is.